Risky Behavior. Yeah, what's up? How y'all doing? Welcome. This is Risky Behavior. I am your host, Schmelly. It is late night, and so I am doing what I like to do when I'm just chilling and relaxing at the house, which is watch people debate on YouTube. Now, the debate we're watching tonight is between Tommy Sotomayor and the saint and the sinner. Now, uh, apparently, Tommy was on the Fresh and Fit podcast, and the saint and the sinner does not agree with Tommy's behavior on the Fresh and Fit podcast. So, he was offering criticism and talking about Tommy and how he felt about his behavior on the Fresh and Fit podcast on his show. And so Tommy, you know, came on to the show of the Saint in the Center um, to, I guess, you know, defend himself, to have a conversation and, you know, for them to debate. Now, both of them are two people that the fans of these two argue that both of them are kind of like undefeated when it comes to debating. Um they're both the type of people where other people may say that, you know, hey, people are afraid to debate them because they're so good at debating. So I think it will be interesting to watch how them two, how they go at it and watching them collide to see um, who could, you know, out logic each other, so to speak. So anyway, let's go ahead and. Jump into this um, debate and let's uh, see how it goes. How are you? I'm I'm well. How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, I was uh, told I've I've never heard of you, but somebody told me, hey, there's a guy named the the Saint and Sinner. But I'm gonna take your word for it. Uh, didn't you just say about that guy about being humble? You just said that about that guy. Now you don't believe anybody has never heard of you. I, okay. I don't know. I don't believe you who went on fresh and fit several times when you say you've not heard of me. I don't believe that at all. I'm just keeping it a buck with you. It's I, not I, about, I, hold never, on a second. It's, it's not I, about not being humble. It's about being honest. And so I'm well, trying I don't to see how that's an argument. If somebody says that, I wouldn't even sit up there and argue with somebody about it. No, no, we, it's not an me. argument. It's not an argument. It's a statement. Well, I don't know it's you. I was saying I don't know you. It became an argument and because I'm, you have to tell me you don't believe that I don't know you. And I'm letting you know up front so that you know where I stand. I wouldn't care that you don't believe it. You know I, now, though. Again, that's where it goes back to you said being humble. I don't think anybody would call me, and I would have to tell them, I don't believe you've never heard of me. But it's not on. about it's not about bigging myself up. It's about you coming on pretending well, as though like you're coming out of the blue. I, it was. You can even see the comment but, in the comment section. You know what I, I like, ladies though. and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm go to my go to my Instagram here. right now and go see if it didn't happen. On my picture where happen. I said I just got home, go look. Go it look and see happen. if I made it up. Speaking of complete sense, I'm not sure what you're talking about right now. Everybody watching, go to my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Go look at what happened in the picture before the last one. Someone said it to me in there. Go look oh, at what I said that's back fine. to you. Yeah, that, that's fine. Go look at that's what fine. I said to them. That's fine. If you could try not to yell, I'm making it up. My ears now. You kind of hurt my ears now. But okay, here's the thing. You hear me I, now. I'm hurting your ears. So you're just gonna sit here and just I keep appreciate. Um, if we are keeping score, I would have to score Tommy a point. And I will say this, there's no need to start a conversation off this way, okay? Um, starting the conversation off calling the person that you're about to have the conversation with a liar, um, it's just a bad way to start off the conversation because what's the point of talking to you if <laughs> from the beginning of the conversation before we've gotten into any anything factual, any talking points, you just start off by calling me a liar and it's no point to do it because you cannot prove that the person is lying. If you have no proof to anything that you're about to say when you are planning on debating a person and having a back and forth, if you have no proof, just don't bring it up. And here's another thing, because it makes you look silly when the other person, because Tommy said, well, hey, you know what? I can give you proof to what I'm saying. 
And then you don't accept the proof. You dismiss it and say, oh, all day, you know, let's just go on to the next topic. It makes you look silly. And so, so far, the saint is not, um, he's not on a good start. So, um, we'll see how the rest of it goes and stuff. I just think that's a um, silly way to um, start a conversation off. It's unneeded. If you don't believe somebody, you don't believe them. But unless you got proof, you should probably just um, keep it to yourself. Listen, I appreciate you coming on. And one of the things that I think will be very educational that I mentioned about you in particular, which if I were you, the reason I would have showed up is this. I said, you sit there and basically make faces while you're sitting right next to the gentleman. And then when he leaves out, then you start talking shit about him instead of addressing it straight up as a man. And that is extremely pathetic. First off, it's not pathetic because I didn't invite him to the show. And so I don't disrespect people in someone else's house. Now, if they then say something about it, that's different. Then you join in on gossip in the house. It was wasn't my show. And I didn't even know who he was. I didn't know him. I didn't know he was going to be there. I don't disrespect him. If they brought this man on and he was supposed to be doing whatever it is he was doing, I let him. Right. So let me let me respond to that, because that sounds good. You're right. If you're there for business and it's not your platform and he's acting up, it's not upon you to correct nope. him. I agree. It's also and not I even said that tomorrow. Hold on one second. I, I was Hold on one second, let it go that long. You don't have to interrupt me. Hold on one second, boss. It's also not upon you as a man to sit there making pouty faces, number one, but that's fine. You can feel a certain way. But when the guy leaves and if the host start lashing him verbally in his absence, which is backbiting, there's no need for you to join in. Now we're ganging now up on him in his absence. No need for me to- one of his managers can tell you I said something to his manager about him, about his behavior before I walked on the screen. He said, that's just his thing. He's young, and we're trying to get him to stop doing that. I said, well, if he keeps doing that, some of it's funny. I said, but some of it's going to rub those people the wrong way. <clears throat> and he said, that's he's a young man, and he's trying to figure it out. It was not your show. It was not there for you to set the rules and the decorum. That had nothing to do with you. And they asked me my opinion. I to address you. That's all I did. They asked you your I'm opinion? On, yeah. <laughs> um, once again, the saint, he's not convincing me that he's a master um, debater. I mean, his argument is still shaky. Look, we're not talking about somebody on the news, you know, on CNN. So <laughs> we're talking about the Fresh and Fit freaking podcast. A podcast that is literally like <laughs> it's got some of the most ignorant crap on it, period. I've seen them I've seen fights on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I've seen them cuss out um cuss each other out on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Only fans girls on the Fresh and Fit podcast. And there's no disrespect to those women and what they do to make their money, but I'm just saying Dog, you talking about facial expressions? What is so prestigious about the Fresh and Fit podcast that you could attach a moral high ground um, conversation to the Fresh and Fit podcast? You were making facial expressions on the Fresh and Fit podcast when someone was talking. I'm sorry, but that is a shaky ass Oh, my goodness. That is shaky. That is. I hope he come with something better than that, because that was shaky, baby. Seriously. (laughs) I would have laughed in his damn face. I'm like, dude, seriously, on Fresh and Fit? Get the hell out of here, man. This Fresh and Fit. This You talking about what people can talk about, talking about talking about somebody behind their back. What are you talking about? This podcast is literally People sitting around talking shit. This ain't no... I I get it. They got some good content, and they do talk about some good topics. But come on. It ain't no damn serious-ass podcast like that. ain't like he was on the damn news or some shit like this. All it is is fresh and fit. Y'all would have said they had an opinion about it, too, when somebody gets asked. You said said they asked your opinion. I'll just play it and see right now. Let's see. 
Respect, respect. You left your diapers. You know they're expensive. You can't. I don't know if you're going to be. Everybody else spoke about him as well. This guy was stalking Wait, But I was the one that should have. We're going to play the clip and then we can go through it. We're going to play the clip. We can go through it. Diapers the entire time. Like, make some contributions. You can tell when somebody never had anything in their damn life and they keep bringing up. Okay, there's you. So now you're. You're talking about Brody behind his back. So you said that you spoke Everybody up. spoke about him. We were talking about one what moment, just happened. One sir. moment. You, you don't have to hop out. One moment. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When somebody never had any. Respect, respect. You left your diapers. You know they're expensive. You can't. I don't know if you're going to be. Everybody else spoke about him as well. This guy was stalking diapers. Wait. Respect, respect. That had nothing to do with you. That's me, my he opinion. Didn't need I to address That's you. all I did. They asked you your I'm opinion. Y'all would have said had an opinion about it too when somebody Let's, gets asked. Uh, they do you, it with you said, you said someone. You said they asked your opinion. I, I can. Let, I'll just play it and see right now. Let's see. Respect. Respect. You left your diapers. You know yeah. they're expensive. You can't. I don't know if you're gonna be. Everybody else spoke about him as well. This guy was stalking. Wait, but I was the one that should have. We gonna play the clip and then we can go through it. We are gonna play the clip. We can go through it. The entire time, like, yeah. make some you can tell when somebody never had anything in their damn life and they keep bringing up. Okay, there's you. So now you're you're talking about Brody behind his back. So you you can um, see everybody um, visibly like um, irritated. Um, Myron says something um, into the uh, mic, and they're um, kind of. Um, they're talking back and forth. You can see facial expressions and stuff like that. Look, when somebody irritates everybody in the room and people walk out, people are going to talk about them. That has nothing to do with your character. It doesn't mean you're a coward. It doesn't mean anything. It means that somebody left quite an impression when they left the room, and now people are talking about it. And that's just a reaction to that person and how they were behaving and stuff. So I, I, don't, I still don't get his point as to what he's saying. Yeah. You can't. I don't know if you're going to be. Everybody else spoke about him as well. This guy was talking. Wait, but I was the one that should have. We're going to play the clip and then we can go through it. We're going to play the clip. We can go through it. It was the entire time. Like, yeah. make some well, you can tell when somebody never had anything in their damn life and they keep bringing up. OK, there's you. So now you're you're talking about Brody behind his back. So you said that you everybody spoke, spoke about him. We were talking about one what moment, just happened. One moment. You, you don't have to hop out one moment. You just said everyone started talking about it, but we just played the video footage and it showed that a no one asked you. So you were lying about that. And then B, you said everyone was talking about it. No, you started the conversation. And then C, you were clearly disgruntled. We just played the video footage. No, to play it back. If you said I just go ahead, play it back. That I start. I will play it back. I will play it back for you. Able to. This guy was stocking diapers the entire time. Like that was the first person to talk about it. When somebody right there had anything and they Okay, so she was the she, first person to start talking about him. She stated, "Quote: This guy was stacking diapers the whole time." End quote. Yes. So if you if you take that sentence. And you do a textual analysis of that sentence, critical discourse analysis. Is there sentiment there? Yes, because they didn't say any of that before he left. Well, I mean, while he was there. No, there's they didn't no talk about how lame he was or how lame. No, he was. no, no. There's no sentiment there. She said this guy was stacking diapers the whole time. That's an observation of fact. That is not. But I'm saying she didn't make then that what, before. Then what you did was you started talking Offered negatively about him. But here's yes. the difference. She's abroad, and she was coming at him to his face while he was there. They were engaged in. You offered conflict. your opinion about me, and you, you weren't talking about me to my face. You. On You've the been other doing hand, this. You even put a title no, up here. You didn't say that to my I, face. No, no, no. Hold on. Let's stay on topic. We can get to that. We can. Address I'm saying that. that's normally what people do. No, we can get to what you said, but let's not let you run away first. Just well, admit that you lied and you tried to make it seem like the broad started off the conversation disrespecting him when it was actually you, but you waited till he left to disrespect him. Well, first off, as I told you when I started, I didn't know that man or what he was there to do. So what I'm not going to, to ruin their show. I'm not going to start a fight with someone if it's not, if, if this is their show and that's what they brought him there to do. I don't know what he was there to do. Then you should have kept quiet the whole time. While he was there, you were quiet. 
And in his absence, you should have continued with no, your while silence. He was there, I, sp I spoke on, on situations in which I felt that it was need for my opinion. I gave it. You didn't. You while didn't he was there, any, I did not say you anything. You did not give him any criticism while he was there. Sir, and, I sure didn't. I didn't get, sir, I didn't give right. anyone any criticism while I was there. That's no right. One. You only do it when they're gone. That's no. Okay. Yes, uh, that's what I do. I only criticize people when they were gone. That's why in the next show, whenever they were asking me, I then gave. Yeah, you know, um, I I think the Saint, his argument, I still think is just weak. I think he's, you know, he's definitely lying. I've seen Tommy give plenty of people um, criticism to their face um, plenty of times, okay? And um, what he played, because we can only go by the clip that he played that he wanted to talk about, the girl made a comment about the guy, said he, you know, he was stacking diapers here the whole time. And Tommy said, yeah, you know, um, yeah, you can tell when people are not used to having something. That's the same as if somebody said to you, yeah, he was bragging about his money and flashing his jewelry in our face. And someone says, well, yeah, you can tell when somebody's not used to having anything. That's just that's a normal response that people have to um, when someone appears to be arrogant or stuff like that. And they're flaunting something in people's face or they're doing something stupid. That's a very generic thing to say. Um, and so, therefore, I feel the saint has a weak argument. That's not a very harsh thing to say. So, for him to say that's cowardly to say in response to someone talking to them, it's kind of weird to me. But criticism of the people on the panel. But I only do it when people, when they're gone. That's how I, I end up in, in any situation on this show. You're right. Anything about any other show. I'm afraid we're of talking people. Of, right. We're talking about the show that we just observed. Secondly, another thing that I take issue with. You said with, I only speak on people when they're gone. That was a person. The second thing that I take issue with is this. You were sitting there telling the broad and the white that, you know what? Everybody's coming in after a guy. You're an OnlyFans thought. Ah, you be up. And another thing about him that I'm noticing what he's doing is he's acting like he's so manly and what it is to be a man and you're backbiting and you're talking about people behind their back. Why is he talking like that? The broad, the broad. Is it like if it's some type of lesson that you're trying to teach people? Why you can't just say, you know, the young lady that was in the white? Why are you? Um, it's like he picks and chooses what is right for someone to say you know um i'm going to tell you what you can or cannot say meanwhile i'll say and disrespect and do what i want to do um i'm looking at the facial expressions he's making he's being to me he's coming off very um just very silly and immature but you told the broad you know like who talks like that i, I don't think i even hear some of these harsh guys that are that like really kind of get into women and sometimes women would say that they bash women i don't even know if i hear them talk the way that he's talking the broad the broad and stuff it's just you believe that yes because i know plenty of them who are and when it's oddly enough they end up getting a man. I know women who got several kids by several people, and some fool marries them. It'll these men have very low standards because if they didn't, the girl was one of the girls was showing me after the show I went on there yesterday. All them people were talking about how dumb she was. Them same dudes were in her comment section and telling her how fine she was. Uh, Superhead actually got a simp to marry her. See, here's the problem. Now, let's break this apart. You said Superhead got a simp to marry her, which would be a yes. low quality, low value man. What she I was say saying they is that, good men. but that was the very discussion that was being had. She said that she they was going to stop they only get married. One I said second, no, one second. no, 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 one second. She was saying that she wanted to stop OnlyFans because the guys she's attracted to are not attracted to her in her in her current state, but the simps are the ones attracted to her in her current state. So you were misleading her, suggesting that she could get a good man in her current state. Sir, uh, we would all have looked at that guy. I called him a simp.
but he was still a good man by everybody's metrics prior to that. That guy who married Superhead. That's why it was shocking because everybody thought he was a good man. I call you a simp based upon what you do. I just want to confirm, you believe that the OnlyFans girl who is also a single mother can still get a good man according to what you define a good man as? Yes, I think it can happen. Okay. Because I think the, the, what's, been, what's happened is they've lowered what these men are supposed to expect. That's why these women are able to outwardly do certain things because these men are still saying, I'll still take it. But you're saying those are good men according to your definition. Uh, no, by their definition. When you no, hear but we're women, talking about your definition. Why no, do you I'm keep saying I'm listening that? to this woman and I'm listening to the majority of women who say things like this. And that's why we asked them on the show, well, what do y'all consider a good man? And if you listen but to Tommy, women, I said what you consider a good man. Okay, by my even by my definition, a nigga that's willing to take care of them, that's hardworking and educated will still do it. Because in his mind, a lot of men like let's say of an accountant. She might be attractive to the point where he know he can't get one. I know a dude who married a woman, and this dude is a doctor. He married a woman who was six months pregnant. Okay. Literally. And his <laughs> thought was he was saving this woman, and she was so sweet, and he knew her. But I knew what it really was. He thought he couldn't get that woman in her pure state, and he didn't because she never gave him a shot. When she got pregnant, though, she did, and it happens a lot. There are a lot of men who settle down with women who, when they were in their best state, they had no interest in them. Okay. And the reason that's strawberry, lying, I'm conflict avoidance. The fact that he said that lets you know he's trying to be a, a, an no. angel. Yep. Once again, I got to score Tommy again. And and this is the thing, though. You know, good, it, that's subjective, right? You can't tell somebody um, – what a good man is there are some uh you know it's kind of like a base foundation like tommy said you know hard worker you know paying the bills taking care of your woman um you know an honest guy and stuff like that but um i think they're arguing two different things see um he's trying to say that if um you can't be a good guy if um if you would be with a woman who was an only fans model when you could be a guy that you're a good guy you're an honest guy you're a loyal guy you work hard you take care of your family but everybody does not look at sex and pornography the same way they don't so being good um to one person is different to another person it is what it is, okay? Um, and it's going to change from person to person. You cannot say that a man is not a good man because um, you find out, well, hey, you know, Jeff's wife, she was the only fan um, girl, okay? If Jeff is secure in his relationship and it doesn't bother him, how is he a bad guy? Because of that, all people don't um, feel the same way. And I think I think a lot of people just really need to learn about what's going on in the world. When I hear conversations like this and people having those talking points, it just lets me know that they really don't know what's going on in the world at all. You have couples, people that are married, been married for years. And guess what? They are swingers. swingers swapping their wife and these people happily married for years that's just what they do everybody doesn't have the same approach when it comes to sex um i know for some people it's also taboo and um they got an issue with it they got a problem with it some people don't some people don't have a problem there's guys right now that you don't know but they know that their wife was a stripper but you don't know it Right. The only difference from what they're talking about and what I just said is, you know, that this girl is doing OnlyFans, but let her quit and let a couple of years go by. And somebody who's never seen her on the Fresh and Fit podcast, they'll think that Jeff 
oh man, Jeff got a beautiful wife. Jeff's such a good guy. They got kids. He's taking care of his wife and his kids and he's doing well and, and stuff like that. So that's what you would have to judge it off of. Not some personal opinion about how you feel about um, a OnlyFans girl. So once again, I got to score with what Tommy's saying, because like I said, I know girls that were strippers that are married and they got some good guys that do what they're supposed to do to handle their business as men. You cannot say a guy is not a good guy just because of who he's attracted to and because of what um, does or doesn't bother him. So that's another weak argument for him from from him. I, he's fishing to have a, a strong point and he ain't found it yet. That makes no, no that's sense. not the case. Nobody that's has the ever case. said I'm that I'm telling you, avoidance. I'm telling you, you said that, it. yes, I'm telling you that I do not respect the fact that you had a chance to address a man with your disagreement. You could have addressed him respectfully. I and just you told waited. you why I did. If you don't you like waited. it, I get it, Hold but I did answer. I'm, I'm telling you that, that. that you waited until he left and then you talked bad behind his back. And we I just know, told especially you why I did it. if you oh, don't like down. it, that's you're, fine. You're getting, you're I'm getting not going angry. to argue with this man so about angry? what I think they might be so letting mad? you do. Why are you so mad? Because you're saying things and just keep repeating. No, you're, I think you're, you're mad. No, you're mad. It's getting under your skin no, you're because just it has been. You didn't want to bring me up here because you knew you were going to be an asshole. You're very mad. Like, why are you so mad? Yes, because you're being an asshole to someone that you didn't even that's, want to bring up here because you were scared to bring me up here. That's an indication. And lied that to the people talking about some that, oh, I, I've been reaching listen, out to him. No, you were. Down. Calm down. That's an indication that uh, you're losing the argument when you start yelling no, 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 and I'm getting mad. Remember? No, no, no. I, I'm non-confrontational. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm being polite here. You're getting out of control. We all no, know you that said I'm non-confrontational. Yeah, now you're the you're same guy. Hold on. Let me know. Are you the guy who was on Vlad TV and then you uh, saw one of your enemies? Sir, I was never on Vlad TV. That no, wasn't you? Wasn't. Now, here's the thing. Oh. <sighs> well, okay. Finally, they're going to go to the next point where he's going to bring up, I guess, the whole Tommy Sotomayor and... Tyreek Nishi because that was the only one time that um Tommy um was on um that was on but I have to say again I gotta score Tommy another point so Tommy is three points up for me right now because after the whole conversation about will a man marry or be with the only fans girl um the saint um obviously was losing that argument and what he did was he messed up and he went back to his original point which was about him talking about a guy behind his back but that point was over and done with and he went right back to it because he was losing the other argument so i gotta sc score another point um to tommy because you you just can't do that that point was over and done with. You was on your new point, and instead of driving that point home and winning it, and and because he he offered no argument, Tommy beat him in that conversation when he offered examples of how a guy can still be a good guy and get with a woman that may be only fans. She could be an ex stripper, anything. Like he said, he had a friend. Uh, marry a woman she was um six months pregnant as a matter of fact my neighbor they were my neighbor he met his wife and she was pregnant as a matter of fact she was pregnant um the baby came out he raised the child as his own they were married when i met them at least 17 years Wonderful couple. Great guy. Awesome guy. Entrepreneur. Very stand up guy. Very good guy and stuff. So, um, yeah. And um, the saint couldn't win that argument. <laughs> so he he kind of forgot where he was in the argument. He found himself going back trying to argue the same point. And that's why Tommy got irritated because he's like, dude, we already discussed that point. You need to go to your next point. You said it and you laughed and giggled. I just, no, I just asked they you. Said it. I just asked you. And I told you it wasn't. What am I referring to? 
There's you said like this. I was there, on there, there, uh, Vlad wait, TV and one of my like enemies this. confronted me. It's there's never nothing happened. like this that never happened. You, never you got said I was on Vlad TV and one of my enemies confronted me. This never down. happened. Calm down. Just calm down. You're a very angry fella. Calm I down. sure am. You're, it would yes, have been I am, because I'm non-confrontational. Been, it would have been amazing if you were this angry when you were dealing with the guy you're sitting right next to him making I, faces. I What's up? I had to present Crispy with don't, that don't award. Do, don't do that. Don't, What's don't up, do Crispy? That. I, I had to give you your award, yeah, you, Crispy. You, you I had no up. idea that this is. You, you you said crispy. This up, right? I did not set this you up. You said this up. It's <laughs> Crispy. I had to Crispy. I have no idea. Crispy. It's a grown man. Shout out to Vlad. Shout out to my homie Vlad. I had to it's give Crispy. Let, 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 let me give you. Let me give you your award, Crispy. <laughs> let me give you your award, Crispy. There you go. And you letting this roll, huh? <laughs> let me give you your award, no, no, you Crispy. Said this Come on, man. Why are you, you <laughs> Crispy. This up? Oh, Crispy, ball spot, have an ass bit. And why are you covering up your ball on. spot, player? Let people see. Let your on. let your scout breathe, my nigga. I ain't got time to have a good night, man. Bro, yeah. I ain't hit back and he's still talking crap. Y'all saw that shit, right? Nigga punched me dead in the face. I know what I'm gonna do. Let me dial this nine one one. Tell him I've been assaulted. I've been assaulted. I've been assaulted and now the people who assaulted me are waiting outside of the building. I was punched in the face. The black male, about five foot seven, 155 pounds. You're making faces. You're a very angry guy. It's just not even Yes, necessary. I am. You should know this. Just calm down. You should just know calm this. Down. I'm the known entity here. Ain't that how the buddy talk? Just calm down, bro. Just <laughs> I'm the bigger name here. Entity. So that's why I have the that's why I'm talking like this. The reason that the right you're mad, that. the reason that you're mad is because it's you were because clearly exposed me. for backbiting. For what? You were clearly what did, what exposed you expose for me for doing? Let's look at the footage. You tell me that what you did was right. Look at it. Entire time, like look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've been sitting next to this guy. I would love to have a civil debate with him, no love. If he we asked got, me a question, I would answer it. each one. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Doing too much, bro. He's been sitting next to you. You ain't saying nothing. You're looking down. I just want to narrate this, and then we can you can respond. He walks out. You left your diapers. You know they're expensive. And then listen to you straight you away. I don't know if you're going to be able to. Listen to all these people talking Wait before Tommy long. ever says a word, but he's waiting, ignoring. Waiting. I guess he can't hear them. Wait until he's Somebody gone. never had anything in their damn life when they keep bringing up, I did this on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Like you got oh, us. Yeah. Hey, like this nigga has a Tommy, you know. Did he make a million yeah. dollars on TikTok? Now, here's the thing. Fresh never dissed him before the end. Real, real quick. Real quick. Said word. I'm saying what you did was not manly. Which is to say, you do not wait till a man leaves and talk behind his back. You don't do that. You okay. could have sat there silent and carried on with the conversation. Okay, but that became that became the conversation, one. But two, let me explain You something. started that conversation, okay. Tommy. Okay. Tommy, did I heard you not start you that conversation? About me and respect Why is this I dude what lying? You said about me. I'm saying what you did with I want to narrate this. Watch, Watch this. this. Tell me that th what you did was right. Look at it. Watch the this. Entire time, like... Look at it. Who was that girl? She said, the entire time, Myron says, you doing too much, bro. Ass. So they're talking. It's a girl. I don't know. It's one of these girls. They're talking. Mm. All right. So you've been sitting next. You hear the girl. Mm, like they're talking and whispering and all saying things. All of them. Tommy's not the first person to say something. They're all whispering, saying stuff. But for the purpose of his argument, I don't know why the saint is doing this. Because you can clearly hear people conversating and talking and saying smart stuff. And he's choosing to ignore that in order to try to win. And so, once again, I got to score um, Tommy because he's clearly lying. He's playing the video and we can all hear it. To this guy I would love to have a civil debate with him, no love. If he asked me a question, Let's I would answer that. each one. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. You're doing too much, bro. He's been sitting next to you. You ain't saying nothing. You're looking down. I just want to narrate this and then we can you can respond. Respect, respect. He walks out. You left your diapers, you know they're expensive. And then, and then the girl is saying, You left your diapers, you know they're expensive. He ignored that part the last time that he played the video. Listen to you straight you away. I don't know if you're going to be able to. Like Wait till he's gone. Talking diapers the entire and that member, uh, uh, Myron called him a psycho man. He said psycho man. She said something. Myra said something. Waiting, waiting, waiting. 
Yeah. Wait he until he's somebody gone. never had anything in their damn life and they keep bringing up, I did this on mm -hmm. TikTok. Like you got it. Right now, and something else I must assume is what helps them hear each other um, as well is um, they have these headphones on. So they might also be picking up things that people are saying in the mic that we might not necessarily um, hear. Um, but I can hear them and I hear them whispering and saying little smart things to each other. I hear Myron say clear as day, psycho. Um, so people are talking well before Tommy says anything. And so the fact that he's playing back this video is proof. Like Tommy just jump started this whole conversation is, is ridiculous. And I'm like, his argument is very, very, very weak. Now, here's the thing. Fresh never dissed him before the end. Real, real quick, real quick. Said word. I'm saying what you did was not manly, which is to say you do not wait till a man leaves and talk behind his back. You don't do that. You okay. could have sat there silent and carried on with the conversation. Okay, but that became... That became the conversation, one. But two, let me explain You something. started that conversation, okay. Tommy. Okay. Tommy, did I heard you not what start you that said conversation? About me and respect. I heard what he said about me and was respectful even though he was saying I'm not being a man. I tried to then speak back. He cuts off. I'm asking so you, did I, you not I get, start? But if I get bothered by that, then I'm being sassy. You, you, so you relax just for a second. Relax for a second. Things, don't let me respond. Relax just one sec. Tommy, did even you not never, start? And see, and that's another thing, and it's kind of weird, is because he's trying to dictate what is manly and what's not manly. Look at his facial expression. Look how he's holding his hands and stuff. A real man asks a man a question, and he allows him to answer. What he's actually doing is very, very feminine, and is very, very irritating. And it seems to be his debate tactic is he irritates people. Um, he'll say something and won't let you answer it. Tries because what he's trying to do is mentally tire you out, right? Because if I say something to you, right, what I'll do is I'll ask you a question, and I won't let you answer the question, but I have to disguise it. So what I'll do is I'll act like I'm elaborating on my question. I say, hold on, hold on, because I'm not done yet. But all I'm doing is repeating that question again i'm not elaborating i'm just repeating the question again in a different way but i'm going to disguise it as if i'm elaborating it and what it's going to do is it's going to make you mentally frustrated to the point where hopefully if you had a re um, a response that would defeat my point you might forget it or you might say it the wrong way or um because i've irritated you I get you to sound like you're angry and I can dismiss it like, oh, look at you. You're just angry. And this is what he's doing. And it started when he played because he had no reason to bring up the whole Tyreek Nasheed situation um, with Vlad and how Tyreek Nasheed walked in there and tried to give him the Kuhn Award. He had no reason to play that video, but he played it to irritate him. He played it to make fun of him, to get whatever audience that is watching him, he wanted to get them on his side. So if I can make him look like a fool, even though it has nothing to do with this argument, if I get to make him look like a fool, then I can have them on my side and I can win the debate. Start that conversation. Let me respond to what you said. Tommy, did you not start that conversation? So you're not going to let me respond to what you said. Now did you're going you to pose a question. Relax real quick. Just relax. Did you not start that conversation? Again, by what your metrics was, I started it. Okay. Even though when I looked at it and anybody else can say this uh -huh. woman's first thing that she said, but either way, everybody else around the table that had said nothing bad about him while he was there, then uh -huh. started doing it. Okay. Because they so were shocked he did it. I was shocked. And let me tell you why I was shocked he did it. Mm -hmm. Because when when I was in the back, he was ve he was like, man, I've seen your shit. He was respectful to me, and then he mm -hmm. was respectful to them, and I'm friends with them. So I was as it'd be like if like how the people in the comment section right now, when they feel I'm disrespecting you, 
they come to your aid. When I heard him say what he said as he walked off to that man that was my friend that I then see brought him up there, had been helping him push his stuff. I'm then confused that why did he do that? So yes, I speak on it. I speak on a lot of things just like that. Anybody that's ever watched me for since I've been here since 2009, if I see something that goes left, it is wrong. And I'm like, wait a minute, how, how is this okay? And it really went left out of nowhere. What I was bothered by, I thought they were all cool with it. I just didn't understand. And the biggest part was, why am I brought here with this man on here? But I'm not going to say this in the audience and ruin, and say, why y'all bring me up here while you're here? I'm just sitting up here thinking, where do I, where, where do I fit? Because I was told I was brought there for it to just be me. This was a last minute thing of another guy sitting there, which is why they brought me back Monday and did it. Because I said something after it. I said, why did y'all bring me when had his man on here? Because whatever he was doing, he should have been allowed to do without me there. Okay. So some of what you just said, are you saying you said that off camera as well? Well, I said that at the end of the show when we were walking out, I was like, I'm not understanding how that even happened. I'm confused because I thought, and then they explained to me then, he had called them out their name before. I didn't know. I was like, so wait a minute, y'all brought him on. And they were like, well, no, we patched up the beef. So if he had already called y'all lame before, it's not shocking he called you that again when he didn't get his way. But the way he didn't get was still weird to me because this man is saying things that I'm thinking, why is he saying, you know, me and this brother. So when you say I wasn't talking bad about him, he kept bigging me up. We're the stars of the show. And I'm thinking, man, I don't know you. I, I'm a known entity and you keep telling me you're the star of the show. And I guess that's what you're doing. But it, it came it became irritating because when I came, I came to have a real serious conversation, I thought. I hope you you see that like I haven't picked you out a hat to like trash you. Do you understand what I'm speaking of from a moral value standpoint of why I'm saying it was not right that you speak ill of the man in his absence in general, but particularly when he was right there and you could have addressed him? Do you understand at any level what I'm trying to forward and the value in what I'm trying to forward? Well, like, can I you tell say, me what makes sense about that? I will tell you, no, it doesn't, because remember, but you don't have to see it that way, but you're asking me for my opinion. Or yeah, I said, does anything opinion. about that make That's sense saying, to yes. you? Yeah. I'm saying it does not because I'm explaining to you that I'm in here and he's been irritating, but what I'm doing, and let me say this, everybody in your audience has had this happen. You're nice to the friend that's nice to your friend, but when you see that that person then disrespects your friend, you speak up. That's what happened. I was nice to him, not because I didn't, not because I liked what he was doing. You I speak up like to him. him. You speak up to he him. Did, he literally walked out. There was no time to speak out to him. Anybody who watched it, it was seconds. It was seconds. So at that point, he walked out on his own. He wasn't even kicked effective. out. He wasn't even kicked out. I didn't even know what he was doing until he walked back and said, "Y'all some whole ass niggas," and walked off. <laughs> that was it and I'm sitting up there still you can watch yeah, me so like, what the fuck just happened so then I have to say is this a skit because it didn't make sense so now I'm thinking this has got to be a skit but then when I hear them over in the back by the door arguing with him and then Byron said yeah I had to kick the nigga out and I was like so this that really happened so at that point, I'm like, oh, hell no. This doesn't make sense. He just got up and walked off himself. I've never seen anybody do that. Why you put that up there, also somebody said, uh, why, put, why not put up what No Love Rick said? It did happen fast. So I get it. You put up Tommy, the one that said I was capping, Tommy, Tommy. but you didn't put up the one that agreed. Tommy, it did happen fast, but it didn't happen too fast that you couldn't address him. What was I supposed to this this dude here, I I can see that he's just he's just a disingenuous person. He he's just 
<laughs> he's just a liar, dude. Look, um, Tommy's a grown man, um, and he has every right to address who he wants to address and not address who he doesn't want to address. And that's anybody's right. That has nothing to do with some moral code or or anything like that that is not talking about somebody behind their back it's not it's talking about what just happened in front of you um now if you have somebody at the job that you know that you're always in contact with somebody in your life that you always have to be around and you're you know spreading lies about them or something or even if you're not spreading lies about them but every day you you get the opportunity and you just say bad things about them the things you don't like that's talking about somebody behind their back if somebody is being disrespectful in the room and just walks out abruptly you damn right everybody in the room is going to talk about what just happened and for him to sit there and act as if nobody would discuss what just happened in the room he's a of all places a podcast what what do you think they was going to do turn their mics off and just act like that didn't happen and so he's being silly for him, and then for him to say, "Yeah, it happened fast, but not that fast." And so I can tell, like he really did, like he said before. You can probably see that I didn't handpick you. Uh, yeah, you did handpick him, because he's Tommy Sotomayor, and you probably just don't like him, and you wanted to find a reason on a video to say he did something wrong and he didn't. And you you want to make it seem like, oh, that's talking about somebody behind their back. That is not talking about somebody behind their back. That is not what that is. I've never heard that before. That that's weird what he's saying. To do now become confrontational with this man and say, fuck you, nigga. I didn't say fuck you, nigga, when he left. What was I supposed to say? You tell them what would have been the way I should have handled it. I'll listen. For all of for all of your intelligence, and I grant you that, and all of your logic, when I ask you, was there anything that made sense about my position? I said no. Right. And you say no. That's when you reveal yourself to be an unreasonable man. And it seems like that, that lets us my know. Position, though. You're not trying to understand my position. You want me to understand your thought of my position, not my actual position. So imagine no. if I was trying to tell you about no. how you went about. You, were, you just interrupted me. So if you don't mind, I, you just interrupted me. So. Yeah. And what he just introduced into the conversation was actually his God complex, because to say because I don't think the way you think means I'm unreasonable. You watched what happened on camera. You were not. There. So. I'm telling you what happened. I'm telling you it happened fast. I'm telling you what happened behind the scenes and everything. So Tommy has given him plenty of clarity. He's just so in he's just so focused on I gotta win. I gotta win this argument. I gotta win this debate. Instead of just having a conversation with Tommy and finding um a place where they can kind of just meet in the middle and agree on something, he just wanna keep pushing his narrative no matter how many different ways it's ex it's explained to him and it makes perfect sense but he just really wants to win this debate I'll just finish real quick so you're saying you stood up for your friends which that sounds admirable except that you cannot stand up for your friends in the absence of the bully when the bully leaves and then you stand up then you're not standing up for your friends what you're doing is ineffective then it just merely amounts to gossip and like complaining about what happened, but you actually didn't do anything when it counted. The moral that I'm putting forward as a man, Himself. which is in direct contradiction to what you did and what you're saying now is after he leaves and people start talking about him behind his back, a man might say, instead of going along with the crowd in the wrong direction, a man might say, you know what? What he did was dishonorable, but let us not backbite him for he is not here, which means, A, we're not teaching him anything, and B, if he wasn't willing to learn and there needs to be a conflict, we're not even engaging him in conflict. All we're really doing is complaining, which is not constructive or productive. Let's carry on with the conversation. But what you were doing was gossiping and backbiting, and I'm speaking again that because that's weak and immature the value of that is that you guys there was no what did you get from talking about it after he left like what did, what was the value add 
I will tell you what the value add was. It was just content. You're on the show and that's what you're doing. You're talking about it. The majority of things that we're talking about, even this, there was no value add. You just got people to send you money talking about me and name calling me. You added no value to anybody's life talking about this. You didn't. We don't. Facts. And to try and act no, like that we're no, somehow no, now, we're no. not talking about things that don't matter at all. That we don't, no. we don't, these people sit and watch us, they enjoy it, and they go on and do what they do. That was content, and I was there to make content. So I'm going to talk about what I just saw. Why wouldn't I do it? I've done it every time I've been on anybody's show. I would talk about what so you're I just saw. So you're just an entertainer. That's what I was there to do in the same. Every show where this Adam sure 22 like or any show, when the funk jump off and they kick somebody out, the first thing they do is talk about what happened. Everyone does it. I don't know a show where they didn't do that. If right now I left this show because and called you a name, you and the people on the comment would then talk about how I left. Which would be different because I'm addressing you directly. But <laughs> you wouldn't be addressing me directly if I jumped off. No, I'm addressing you directly now. So when you, you know leave, saying? it's you not a situation. Like all kinds of names and left. You wouldn't right, have but it. Would, it wouldn't be a situation where you, Tommy, would leave and say, you know what? And that, that guy's a sucker. Like he would never say that to me. It's not a situation like, man, that guy's a sucker. He, he, he waited till I left to have an issue. No, you'd be like, you know what? Like when I was talking to him, he presented an issue. And when I left, the issue carried on. Sure, Whereas with you, your si one second, Whereas you, with, one second, one second. When you were sitting there next to him, as far as he knew, y'all were cool as hell. You know, as far as he knew, y'all were buddy, buddy. And then he left and then he's watching the live. He's like, oh, Brody, like coming at me. But I was sitting next to him. And he was cool as cool as the you know what's going on. What you the fuck said, is he talking about? Like, <laughs> right. Thank you. It, this is just logic, and we we're arguing what a person is saying is logical. I'm logically saying one: this man was brought to a show. I didn't know what he does, but I'm watching his stick, and I'm like, what the hell? Two: he didn't try to fight the man himself, and he's the one who called. Him a bitch ass nigga. He didn't try to fight him. Myron didn't say a fucking thing. So I didn't know what was going on. If it's a skit, why would I fuck it up? I don't know what they're doing. Because Myron oh, said dude. nothing. So if I so what makes no sense, I'm watching the guy who's being called the bitch. He didn't say anything. That I don't know if this is a skit. Real quick, Tommy, question. What I'm expressing to you in terms of not talking behind that man's back, ha have you ever heard anything like this before in your life, in your experience, or is this like a new concept? Here's what talking about somebody behind their back in my life has been. Okay. If in, my, in your face, I'm sitting up here and I'm saying, like how we're talking, if you yeah. say something and it's bothering me, mm -hmm. that you're saying it to me, mm -hmm. I don't say a word. I pretend me and you cool. You walk away thinking. You right. and I, because we're talking. You and uh -huh. I are talking. Uh -huh. You said some things, and I could tell you right now that what you're saying directly to me, because it's you and I show. You okay. brought me up here. You're saying because we, we think we're cool. No, not even. Listen, you're talking directly to me. Anything okay. you said to me, mm -hmm. I've said whether it's okay or not. Because you're talking to me. Mm -hmm. That man said nothing to me. He mm -hmm. spoke to them. He spoke to them. I would have literally had no reason if that is the show they're doing to tell him, man, stop doing this <laughs> when that was the That's show. Not, you keep talking about that. That's not what we're talking about. We're saying after he left, don't turn up at that point. Why then? Like, up. there's nothing to say about him. We disagree on on. He's totally missing the point. He did not turn up. He said, you waited till he leave to turn up on him. I was not talking to him. Like, the saint doesn't know what talking behind somebody's back is. Tommy is saying, me talking behind your back is if me and you, and I'm being fake, and I'm being in your face, and I'm just being fake with you. Tommy wasn't talking about the man's back because Tommy wasn't being fake to the man. I wasn't never fake with you. I was never like 
like I was your friend or we're cool. We're nothing. You're not anything to that person. So I'm not talking about you behind your back. I'm talking about what I witnessed, what I saw happen in the room, what I thought about it. But I'm not talking about you behind your back because I ain't your fucking, I ain't your friend. I didn't pretend anything with you. I'm just on the show with you. So it's not talking about a person behind their back. He's trying hard to make that stick, and it's just not. It doesn't make sense what he's On saying. That, I'll, if you don't mind, I'll just go through uh, what a couple people sent in by a super chat, and if you want to uh, address any of the other comments. And by the way, I appreciate you coming on and uh, addressing this. And if you ever need anything from me, do let me know. I'll be happy to uh, consider it. Um, shout to uh, Hedron. He writes, my fault, Mr. Burton. I sent in $5 super chat, but I realize we're balling more than that. Let's see an example. By the way, baller alert. I also acknowledge fully coolly. He writes, Peace of the Saints. It's wild when the truth comes to light. Tommy really lied up front. Very crazy. I think he's referring to when you said that you didn't start that conversation about the guy who had just left and it was exposed that you did. Um, shout out to Nigel. He writes, Peace of the Saints. That went left immediately. Lightweight, except expected it to. Where can I get conference two? Can someone drop the link for conference two footage? He writes, Can someone drop the link? Okay, there you go. Uh, shout out to Rakeley. He writes, got to go, Saint. The snow plow needs operation. Ha, ha, ha. Peace of the saints. An American man writes, he's not a good man because he chose an attention slur to mother his children. This is bad for society. This is bad for his children. They see their mother close to naked, basically stripping on a regular basis. I think that was our, our disagreement on what a good man is, but you have every right to define a good man according to your standards. He writes, uh, Tommy always acting tough. Shout out to Nicaragua. He writes, stop being so emotional, Tommy. No one said you're soft. Fully Cooley writes, Myron told him to relax for a good minute and you didn't check him then. You have no spine, Tommy. Straight gossip. Uh, if you need to respond to any of these, let me know, but I'm just kind of going to run through them if you don't mind. An American man writes, he added the value of pointing out that backbiting is immature and immoral. Tommy lied to us about them asking his opinion and then admitted that he started gossiping because the women did. Peace to the saints. Tuition. Uh, shout out to uh, Strong2020. He writes, he did not think it was a skit. Do, does FNF do skits? It may have been backbiting. It was definitely backbiting, but it was good for content. See, I don't believe that it's okay to do any and everything just because of content. Like to me, there, there are moral limits to what I would and would not do for content. So you cross my moral, moral limit, but not your own. Uh, shout out to uh, Ray. He writes, he brought up Adam rage quitting, but said he doesn't know you. What? These people are insane. Shout out to Gabriel. He writes, tuition. Now I also acknowledge Justin writes, uh, Peace of the Saints, tuition. Now I also acknowledge Hustino. He writes, you not like us, Tom. <laughs> uh, I think we're, uh, okay, so I think someone sent, saying, is this the video after Myron told Brandon to leave Castle Cam? Thank you, uh, thank you for putting Tommy in his place. He's annoying. And, and mind you, like, I, I, I'm going to just pull this up right here. I don't know what this video is, but mind you, Tommy just, I've never spoken about you negatively before. Of course, I've seen uh, some of your clips because you've been in this in a, a while and you've had great humor and insights. And so you're not a person that I've ever had any issue with or beef with. I disagreed staunchly on the comforting you did with the chick in the white. I disagree staunchly on the uh, what I consider backbiting, talking behind another man's back. And aside from that, I don't think you're a bad person. I don't think you're unintelligent. You're not someone I would try to you know, put down or cast in a negative light. And I think we're having a reasonably uh, civil discussion. So I, I do want to let everyone know that you know, I don't wish you any ill will. I wish you continued success. And we can have disagreements without you know, hating and despising each other. When you are surrounded by a group of people, who before I even came up here, it's how zesty and gay and cooked <laughs> the, the whole conversation. Uh -huh. And a simp, because I told a woman and gave a straight response as was asked here. If this woman at any point in time 
is pretty enough, a man will look past what this woman has done and then gave examples of this actually happening. Now, then y'all can decide that's a good man or not. But many of y'all mamas got a man to get with them after they done had several kids. And in my world, I would never do that. But your mama got one. Somehow she did. And that to me is the equivalent of an OnlyFans girl. Because ain't no damn way I'd be with a woman. And this woman got kids by somebody else. Multiple. Who didn't want to be there. And yet there's several men who've done it. And that was all I was saying. Tommy about to cry. Damn. Y'all say y'all are grown ass people. Hey, hey Tommy, you know, know what the internet is like, bro. Come on, man. Talk about what's manly and then crispy, zesty. But y'all want, but the conversation is about a man, but they can do that. And that's supposed to be manly. He's going to cry in the car. What is he even talking about? He's using all the same points as 304s. Ain't nobody uh, trying to have no conversation. Not at all. Ain't nobody trying to be adults. <laughs> I don't see how crispy is adult. But it's Yeah, man, I'm done with this debate. It was a silly one. I thought it would be way more um interesting than what it was. Um, it's crazy to me. You you have some people that want to act as if they're so mature, they're so manly, and you know he sees the comments, he sees what people are saying, and he's just laughing about it and like like some little twelve year old boy. You know, like how are you in one breath manly and you know what a man is, and this is immature and this is not right, but you see people disrespecting another. Um, black person calling them crispy and saying other things in the comments and that's funny to you that's mature i really really don't get it right and um <laughs> it's it's hilarious because you got people that will follow that and say oh yeah yeah he's winning he's mature and it's just weird um you got a bunch of immature people calling someone else immature it's crazy to me to me um tommy won this it's clear and easy and this is why i've watched tommy do debates i watched him give one-on-one -on -one interviews if you are in tommy's comment section and you disrespect the guest or you put little silly immature and stupid things guess what happened to you you will be kicked out of the chat he does not allow it. And that's real uh, maturity. Okay. Uh, you can't sit here and talk about maturely, maturity. Maturity. I'm, I'm saying maturely. My bad. You can't sit here and talk about maturity. And what's manly. And what's right. And morals. And stuff like that. And then laugh at silly high school um Joning in the conversation like so I, I don't know this guy is backwards um he lost I, he doesn't hold a flame to um Tommy at all he he lost he didn't prove not one damn point <laughs> at all um he threw insults he asked questions didn't let Tommy answer um I, I don't know I guess if this is like a who could be immature and cut people off? I guess the Saint one, I guess. But to me, in my opinion, he lost. I, I don't think this was a good debate at all. Um, he needs to get like a moderator and stuff. And that's the thing I want to see. A lot of these guys say they're good at debating and that they think they can defeat Tommy. Get a moderator and make it controlled. You only get a certain amount of time to speak. And I've seen um, Tommy do that and stuff. So I know he can do that. The same guy, I would be interested to know um, if he can do that. Anyway, I'm done. I'm going to bed. Um, I'm pretty sure in this video you could tell I was tired. Um, everyone that subscribed, I appreciate you. Feel free to like, share the video, comment. Let me know who you think won. I'm done. Risky out. Risky behavior.